Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about what it's like to be a network engineer. Let's roll the intro. Before we begin, hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified when I upload a new video. Okay, let's get into it. So I'm going to be giving you this information based on my past experience as a network engineer and what I've gone through. So pretty much my entire life as a network engineer I've been working for service provider oriented companies. At the beginning of my career I worked for an ISP, then I decided to move to Dubai where I started to work for a managed service provider and thereafter I moved on to a private cloud hosting company. So pretty much if you will, I've been working for service provider oriented companies. So in a service provider environment, we are there to serve the customers. So I would say 50% or a greater portion of that time, I would spend troubleshooting things, be it customer related issues or just network related issues in general. So just because most of the systems, they run over a network or, or and the internet, I will get a wide range of calls regarding applications that won't be working. So sometimes you have to go deeper and actually learn the applications that are not working because some of the user information that you get is quite unreliable. So as a network engineer, you have to Google, you have to try and check how the application is working, the architecture, the ports related to this application, the protocols involved. So as a network engineer, you are always in a constant learning state. You are learning new things every day, and that's just how it is. So back in the day, you could just be a network engineer and that would be great. But now you can't be a pure network engineer. Pure network engineers, they are becoming extinct day by day. So I've had to adopt and acquire new skills in a different um, uh, area. For me specifically, I acquired new skills in the network and security areas. So I'm now into networking and security, working on security elements like enterprise firewalls, risk identification, vulnerability identification, access control, two-factor authentication models, and endpoint network security integration. Some guys are migrating to being network systems engineers and they are working more on system stuff and it's all the same. The general rule of thumb is that the pure network engineer is now obsolete and you have to reskill to learn new things. Everyone should know the cloud, including network engineers. There's no exception. Everybody should be familiar with the cloud and play with it. Be it AWS, Azure, Alibaba, Oracle, and the unknowns, which I don't even know yet, you must be familiar with the cloud and play with it every now and then. Spin some VMs, test this and that, and enjoy yourself. The key is, you should know the cloud. No matter which sector you are in in the IT industry, you should know the cloud. Now, SDN and NFV, in my experience, is not for everyone. In the real world, real life, SMBs are not yet moving to SDN because it's not their core business. They don't want to spend money making their networks SDN ready. They are just fine with just having just normal routers and switches. So it really depends on the big organizations that would really, really benefit from SDN. Otherwise, it's not yet mainstream and you have to be careful of someone who will come and sell to you some SDN mumbo jumbo. You just have to be careful. I have CCIE and CISSP and the journey in learning these has been crazy. It's been absolutely bonkers and mind-blowing. But it helped me a lot in understanding the finer details in networking and security. But certifications are not the answer. 
You need to have a willingness to learn that kind of attitude and be a hands-on person. Doing labs, practicing this and that, that's the only way you can become a better network engineer. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button and hit the big red subscribe button for more videos. Until next time.